Welcome to a new season of Indigo Living's On the Couch series featuring leading women. My name is Rosemond and I'm going to be your host for today's episode. I am so thrilled to be back, not only with a new season, back to the summer, but is back to school. And who better to kick off the first episode than Hannah Koti Basker? She is here right before she heads over to her second last year of high school. But this is a woman who is honestly changing the world. She's going to talk about taboo subjects from eliminating period poverty, changing the world when it comes to periods, menstrual, giving women confidence, giving young ladies knowledge about healthcare and so much more. Wait till you see how an idea from visiting a village in India turned into an incredible product that is changing one underwear at a time. Please welcome Ahana. Hi, thank you so much for having me here. It was, and I'm honestly so excited to tell you about Sati. I am so thrilled to have you here. It is one week before you go back to school. Yep. <laughs> um, this week has all been about um, looking at the future, generations, going forward, planning education, higher education. This is like the topic everyone's going back to school for. And you are not only going to school, but you are changing the way we look at developing countries and the way we look at period poverty. Mm -hmm. I have so much to ask you. One how did you come up with this idea? Because this brand is called Sati. But let's start from what inspired you. So last summer, when I was um, 15 years old, I traveled to my family's ancestral village in India. And when I went there, I discovered that many of the girls my age weren't going to school. So obviously, this was crazy to me because I didn't realize that like people my age weren't being denied this, especially for something as uh, simple as periods. So I did a bit more research into it and I found out that 23 million girls in India drop out annually just because of periods. So I decided to do something. Now, originally, I thought that I would just donate some pads, uh, make it a bit of a one-time thing. But as I dug further into this, I realized that pads would only be like, again, it's single use. It would be terrible for the environment. And eventually, that's how I came up with Sati because that made me realize that I wanted something long-term that would eventually help all of these girls be able to go back to school again. So most students are having fun playing sports, preparing for university. You are ready to change the world. How do you take an idea and make it into a final product? So you have this idea, you have this light bulb aha moment when you're traveling to India. What are the stages of developing this brand? So there were definitely quite a lot because when I first started, I didn't even realize that it would grow to be as big as it is today. Uh, so first I started contacting manufacturers that took a couple of months getting samples again, a couple of months designing the company, the logo, creating an Instagram for it. Uh, and this is all while like balancing schoolwork. So I was in my GCSE year, which for those of you who don't know is uh, board examinations. And I definitely did find it quite difficult to juggle both exams and my business. But ultimately, I think with a good deal of organization and help from my parents at various points, I definitely worked amazing. So being a woman, I will say this is very expensive. If you just calculate the box of tampons and pads on a monthly use can go up into the hundreds. And yeah, yeah, right? A year. So you're looking at a product like this. You priced it at $11. Mm -hmm. It's one time use. It's washable. You can yeah. reuse it over and over again. How did this, like, how did you even look at a sustainable model for this? Because everything from the packaging to the material is even bamboo fiber. So I came into this business knowing that what I wanted my final product to be was like the most sustainable thing pos uh, possible because Right now, our world is facing some extreme threats from climate change, global warming. Uh, so I researched quite a few sustainable materials that would work. So and ultimately, I came up with uh, bamboo fiber, which is amazing and very uh, good for the environment as well. And the name Sati comes from? Uh, so it means companion in Hindi. When I was choosing the name, I wanted something that would so uh, as I'm donating to girls in India first, I wanted something that would resonate with them, that they'd actually know, not something foreign that was unfamiliar. And I really do feel like Sati is a companion to them uh, so that they can go back to school. Let's talk about 
period poverty. What does that mean when these girls don't have access to clean materials? If they don't have sati, what are they doing every month? Are they going to school? Are they staying at home during that time of the month? So what actually happens in rural parts of India is that girls end up staying in these things called period huts during the duration of their periods. So a period hut is bas- it's basically what it sounds like. So it's a hut where women go during their periods to kind of just sit down and stay there. And it's because girls have to go there every month that eventually they just feel like, you know, if I'm here all the time, like, what's the point in going to school? I'm missing out on so much already. And even if they want to go out, they often end up using dirty rags or cloths that lead to infections, which is really detrimental to their health. Uh, and seeing as they are in low income areas, they don't always have the money to treat these infections that they get. So it's always like a vicious cycle, right? Yeah, it's never ending. But it's amazing that we have products like these that can help bring it out. And I hope that with Sati, one by one, we'll end up eradicating period poverty. I love that. And I love that you're taking away the stigma of this conversation. You've met a lot of the girls in India. What are they asking you? So I traveled to a couple of schools in India. And with the stigma, what I found is when they were, when you were around men, there would be a lot less questions. People would be more shy to talk about it. But out in the open, where it's just a conversation from women to women, they will ask all sorts of questions like that are amazingly advanced. So will this give me rashes? How much does it cost? Uh, what's it made of? It's honestly so like amazing to hear them speak about it and their concerns. And what do you think the next steps are for just having this conversation? Because I feel like women's health is always something that people just don't want to yeah. talk about. And if it started at a young age, it would be a lot more open. What's your advice to young girls? Well, firstly, I think that periods uh, have been considered a very taboo topic, even though it's something we all go through. I think that the next step would definitely be having to put this out more into the open to normalize it, to eradicate the stigma. Because because of the stigma, people aren't talking about it. And that is why this problem is able to become bigger and bigger. So by allowing people to like get rid of this taboo sub. Uh, taboo thing that's surrounding it, we can really uh, work towards a future where periods are like out in the open and everyone is willing to help. Because And yeah, discuss, because, right? Exactly. Because if we don't discuss it, how will people know? So how does it feel like when you're talking about this at school, you go back to the UK, how do you tell your friends that you are literally changing the world? <laughs> well, I think that um, for me, this is something that just really inspires me. I'm so passionate about this. And it's something that I love doing. So whenever I tell my friends, I just have to speak from the heart and that's all. <laughs> and what's your plan going forward? Uh, so I would really like to expand to other countries as well. So currently we have donated in India, but I'm looking forward to um, donating in more parts of India and then expanding over to other continents such as Africa, more parts of Asia, and uh, also selling sati in more places than just Dubai and India. And how does someone buy sati? So usually we'll just, uh, we have an Instagram account and you can just DM us to buy one. We actually have two options. So you can either buy or you can donate as well. And so for each one uh, that you pay for, one is donated. (laughs) I love that. So it is almost like a Tom's model, right? Yeah, that is actually one of, that is uh, originally what I was thinking of. So mm-hmm. when I first started researching the business and how to go about it, uh, I was reading a lot about the Tom's model. And I guess that's something that really helped uh, with me creating this business. And now where is this brand going to go next? Are there going to be more products or how do you see it growing? I think the first step would definitely be to uh, try and get some more variety to the underwear and try and get it to more places. But as the business develops, I really do hope to start um, bringing it to more places and just getting yeah more colors, more styles, um, perhaps even branching out into period swimwear. It's uh, becoming quite big now. <laughs> That's brilliant. And for any of the younger generation watching, how do you inspire young students to take this idea and and expand it into an actual life product? I think that with younger students, whatever motivates you, whatever change you want to see in the world, you need to be the one to create it. It's important that as young people, we we realize that 
we are the ones who can make the change. We don't have to wait until we're adults to start doing things. If you want to do something, if you want to make a change, you can do it now. I mean, sure, yes, it will be a little bit hard. I have experienced some difficulties myself because obviously as a 16 year old, people don't always um, think that I can do things. But I mean, Sati is living proof of that. That's amazing. And for university, what are your plans in just a few years? Well, what do you want to go into? <laughs> what, what does the future look like for Ahada? Uh, I think I would really like to go into business. I mean, obviously with Sati, <laughs> because um, as I was doing this, I realized that it is something that I actually really love doing because, again, I'm in charge of my own life here, my uh, like the way I work. And it's quite freeing and like liberating to be in charge of everything. So that's uh, so with a bus- so learning about business, I think I would want to be an entrepreneur when I grow up. And for every entrepreneur, there's challenges. So what were one of the things that you faced when you were starting this brand? For me, a lot of my challenges definitely uh, were centric around the fact that I am quite young, um, you know, with opening up a bank account, all of those things. I had to ask my parents for help. Uh, and also just trying to like reach out to different manufacturers. Again, I didn't always have I tried not to disclose my age because people do take me a little less seriously, but with hard work comes great results. So as you can see. <laughs> Hannah, when we talk about sustainability, let's talk about some crazy numbers because yeah. <laughs> pads and tampons, how long does it take to biodegrade? Exactly. So, well, let's throw the numbers out, right? It's yeah. like 12 billion in the pads US just alone. alone in the US. And 7 billion tampons as well. And the worst part is that they take so much time to biodegrade and what, just for like one single use? It's crazy to me. And even the amount of, uh, the, even the amount it costs. So for a woman, it costs, it can cost up to $120 annually to just, uh, just for like periods. But thankfully with Sati, I mean, it's reusable. So there's no waste. It's made out of bamboo fiber and it's only $11 and that will last you years. <laughs> This is honestly the numbers are staggering because you just yeah it's crazy. you don't realize that every month and how much we're spending and then the effects on the environment. What would you say your greatest inspiration is? Uh, I would have to say my mom, a hundred percent. I mean, she's always taught me to be who I want to be, to do what I want to do. And with Sati, she's just supported me so much. Like never for a second did she say, "Oh, you know, like are you sure you can do this?" It was always. I'm always here for you. I'll always support you no matter what happens. Even when there have been things with manufacturers and I was very scared uh, contacting everyone, she was always right next to me. I love that. So thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> and is there anything else you want to share with the audience? Uh, I would say please buy Sati underwear so you can buy or donate. And there, it's a product that I really, truly believe in. I mean, it is something that will eventually change the world. So uh, you can be a part of that too. And this topic has been around in Bollywood movies. It's now a topic that, I mean, women, if they want to be independent, they have to take control of their health yeah. and they... So the sad thing is in uh, many villages in India, they can't, but it's great to see that now um, due to like more popularity and like trying to erase the stigma, more women are realizing that they can be independent. And I think one of the first steps to do this is through health. So by, um, in, for example, in many villages, women have to rely on men to buy pads, uh, tampons, all of that. But with Sati, we're kind of giving them the independence. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I love that. Ahana, before we end, at Indigo Living, our motto is living beautifully. What does that mean to you? To me, I think it would mean just living as you are, being the best you can be and doing what you want to do. Love that. (laughs) Thank you so much for watching our back to school episode of On the Couch series for leading women. It is such an honor to present the show and get inspired each week. For more information on Sati, visit her Instagram. This is a brand you want to follow and be ready to change the world.